Welcome everyone to Lost in the Forest Darkness, I guess? Anyway, this is just a demo. Um, from what the comments have said, it is very demo-ish. Meaning not it's not completely done. Uh, what I mean by that is that people are having issues finding the houses and the landmarks and whatnot. To the point that the game just gets boring. Now, whether or not I get to that point, I'm not sure. I'll probably be okay. Maybe. A game jolt game brought to you by the jolt of games. Yeah. We are in a car, I'd imagine. But I have no clue. <laughs> well, yep, here we are. Alright, we're in the car, guys. Is this 3D modeling or, um, I wonder how they do this, because I never understood how this type of uh, game was made. Uh, I didn't think that I had to go to such a wild wilderness, go through such a wilderness. This is wilderness for you, dude? This is just the roads in Mexico. This forest scares me. Most forests scare people after, uh... After a certain time, you know. <clears throat> also, that says scores. Anyway, nice car, dude. I can tell by the, the leaning ways that it's, you know, one of those, the finer ones. Obviously, I do not need a house, so I isolated from civilization. <clears throat> a house so isolated from civilization, sorry. Got to messed up there. I just need to get a house as soon as possible and then sell it cheaper. Okay, you see, I don't know if that's a good idea. If you buy a house and sell it for cheap, uh, you're doing something backwards. I only need to drop documents and I can leave. So that's the point. I think we're supposed to find the house, but a lot of people have been having issues with that part of the game as they have not found the house. Seriously, how do you make games like this? Like, how do you do it? How is it possible? Is it 3D or... How does it work? I'm, I'm legitimately curious. This is an actual question. I'm not making fun of anything. But I actually wonder how you make games like this. Because this is, this is uh, reminding me of... The Resident Evil days. Just the way the fog encircles your vision to the point you can't see. Ooh. <clears throat> Chills me to the bones, really. I do get some comfort from being inside of a car, though. Is that a skull or a rock? I can't tell. The, I, can't, I can't tell. Can't drive further. There's a swamp. I mean, you can keep driving. It's not that you can't. It's just that it's not advisable. The odds of your car getting stuck and then sinking to the bottom of the water are highly likely. I have to go on foot. Yes, can I leave the car now then? Yes, maybe. Maybe no. Guess not. Guess we're just here. Oh, there we go. It has been done. Man, this feels weird. I told you guys, I told you. This was a nice car. The the nice cars are quote unquote nice cars. For me, a nice car is one of the classics, but a nice car, uh, nice cars usually have the, uh, the leaning roof. Anyway, you don't care. Moving on with life. All right, I was going particularly straight, so I just gotta follow the pointed hood this way. And maybe not drown. I wonder where this will end my death. So apparently if I press a run button in water, I slow down. Which is interesting. I don't think that's usually how it goes. Is that something? Or am I just deviating from the route for no reason? I'm just deviating for no reason. Gotcha. I wonder if there was a path I was supposed to follow instead of just going full speed ahead nice forest sounds dude I approve 
I approve wholeheartedly. So I don't know if this is procedurally generated or not. As such, I don't know if there's a point in me going in a certain direction. Meaning, you know, like, if I keep going in one direction, if I'm just gonna keep going for all eternity and then not find anything. So if that's the case, and if that's actually what's gonna happen, we're gonna be here for quite a while. It looks like we just exited the swamp, though. Alright. Just keep going forward, I'd imagine. Hopefully we are not one of the people that have a hard time finding the house because if we are I'm gonna have a hard time filling this episode with with monologue <clears throat> I wonder if anything's supposed to happen in the waters you guys see that like the little the little <clears throat> glitteries over there I think that's where we're supposed to go either that or we've gone in a circle and that's just our car well that is unfortunate <clears throat> looks like it's our car huh I can see why people were having issues. No. Because the next thing, next best thing is to just follow the very clear arrow there. I should have done that from the beginning, but... Oh well, time to keep on wandering, I suppose. Well, guys, I found a mountain. And I could probably follow the mountain, you know. No, oh, this is a landmark. Looks like a gate of oblivion. Almost. I say that, but I haven't played Oblivion in a long time, so I could be completely wrong. The Bean of John is the uh, expert in in Oblivion, not I. So it's entirely possible that I might be wrong. Follow the gates of Oblivion. That's what I'm. That's what I'm getting at. Maybe. I don't know. I could still be lost, helplessly, or maybe. Just maybe, I might still be lost, I don't know. Precisely how remote is this house? Because I have been walking for a while now. Not too long, but... I mean, it's been some time. I don't mind, you know, I don't mind going around and walking around being lost. I played... I play games where I've had to, um... Farm for experience, so I'm used to little... You know, being patient. So this isn't an issue for me, but most other people don't have this kind of patience anymore. Most people are idiots and aren't capable of paying attention for longer than 10 seconds before they start complaining that it's taking too long. Me, however, I can take it. Regardless of the fact, it's been a while since I last saw something. I saw the sign. I'm just asking because, you know, usually people don't um, make a house too far away from the main road. Getting groceries for this. Whoever lived in this house must have been a nightmare. Maybe that's why they sold it or something. Who knows what the story is behind this house, but... I don't know, maybe the road that led up to it sank or something. Maybe the, there was an entire town and it just sank because of the, the curse of the swamp. I don't know. everyone we've made a transition from swamp in, uh, into a forest into the edge of the game actually I just hit an invisible wall there yeah we're now in a forest lost in a forest mind you but I mean we're here I'm moving my head too much to the point that I don't even remember where the uh, where the sign was pointing unfortunately so the odds of us finding that house are slightly diminished now. There's a giant tree I remember seeing. I remember seeing this tree, so that probably means that we are 
heading in a circle again, which would be a f unfortunate, but at this point I kind of expected. I moved my head a little bit too much. I don't know, though. Who knows? Maybe we're still on track. I don't know. Alright, so I think I know how this system works. It is based in a circle. And what I mean by that is once you reach a certain point, uh, you actually start at the other end of the map, thus making it in a circle. If that's true, then the house that we are looking for should be dead center of the map, which we must have missed somehow the first time we went into this place. I will attempt to find it. It's going to be in a large patch of dry land. So there's the car. I know that's the car. Okay, so let's say the car is north. If that's north, let's uh if that tree is north. There's that's the only landmark we have. <laughs> it's just the the car over there. We've gone south. That's where we were just where that's where we just were and we hit the uh the, you know, the border of the game. So the only options now are east or west. So we could go west right here. All right, let's go west and see what, let's see what awaits us in the west, I suppose. See what magical stuff we can find. All right, now hear me out, guys. <clears throat> I found these logs with hair on top. It's not hair, you know, it's it's grass, but they seem to be on a line. Now, if I remember what SpongeBob has taught me, I must follow the moss. The old pioneers used to use this trick. Unfortunately, I think I lost. I think that was the last in the line, though. Judging by the looks. What would the next one be? Could have sworn I've seen this before. <clears throat> but I'm not sure. Strange looking trees. Alright, well, um, hmm. Running out of things to do here. Where could the house be? Alright, so, many cut trees. Why would so many trees be cut? To build a house. Therefore, seeing as how I highly doubt they had modern transportation to transport these logs, the, has, the house has to be near. Right? Right. Alright, well, I've been wandering around for around uh, two hours, and uh, I've not found the house. I don't know where it is. <laughs> oh, man, I've tried everything, guys. I've tried following the moss on the trees. I've tried following the sticks. I've tried following the sign at the start of the game, which led me nowhere. Which led me right here where I am right now, actually. That's... Tried following the pointy end of the car. I don't know. I found a clearing, which is where I thought the house was going to be, but there was nothing in there. Hit an invisible wall. And then, well, you know, like... Oh, well. As much as I would... Like, I want to find this house, you know. But after two hours, I got many more videos to record. Still. And I don't particularly want to spend the rest of my life wandering around in a dark, decrepit forest. It's not my thing, you know. It's not my idea of a good time. So if you guys want to check this game out, you know, see if you can find the house yourselves. And if you do, you know, tell me about it, then... By all means... Feel free to do that. The link to the game is down in the description below. Like, even now, I'm still running in hopes that I'll find it during the outro, but I don't think that's going to happen. <laughs> Shout out to The Bean of John and Matt Suvo. Link to their channels down in the description as well. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. And until next time, looks like I'm not finding the house, unfortunately. I really did try, guys. Two hours, you know. See you guys in the next episode.